Let's take a look at solving this equation. 4 take away 2 lots of 3x minus 5 is equal to 1. OK, on the left hand side we've got an expression with a bracket in it. So what we've got to do is expand out the bracket to get rid of the bracket. OK, be careful. We've got 4 take away 2 lots of the bracket. You do not work out 4 take away 2 to give 2 and then multiply 2 lots of the bracket. What we've got is 4 take away 2 lots of the bracket. So the first thing I would do is just immediately write the 4 straight down. And then what I'm going to do is expand out the 2 in front of the bracket. But be careful. I suggest you say minus 2 times 3x, and that gives you a negative 6x. And now this is where the mistake would happen, if there's a mistake going to happen. You'd say minus 2 multiplied by minus 5. A minus times a minus is a positive. 2 times 5 is 10. So notice that inside the bracket we had a negative, but when you expand it out, because there's a negative in front of the bracket, you actually get a positive there. So don't automatically assume there's a minus in the bracket, you get a minus there, because it doesn't always work like that. OK, so the right-hand side equals 1. Well, that doesn't change, so leave that alone. So we've got that 4 minus 6x plus 10 equals 1. Let's tidy up a little bit. On the left hand side we've got two numbers, the 4 and the 10, that can go together to give 14. 4 plus 10, 14. I've still got the minus 6x and I've got equals 1. So we've got 14 minus 6x equals 1. Right, well we've got x's on the left hand side, so under normal circumstances I would collect x's on the left hand side and take the numbers to the right hand side. But it's a minus 6x. And when I'm trying to work out the answer for x, I always want to know what plus x is. I, I want to know what x is, which is plus x. So I don't want to get minus x's. So what I would suggest you do in this example is actually take the minus 6x and take the x, in this case, to the right, where it swaps signs because it's swapped sides. So by taking the minus 6x to the right, we get plus 6x. And we do want plus x. So that's good. So what I'm going to do now is take the numbers to the left. The 14 and the 1 go to the left. The 14 is already on the left. It doesn't swap sides. It doesn't swap sign. And so the 1 now needs to be dragged across to the other side to join it. Now at the moment there's a plus in front of it on the right hand side. Take it to the other side. It changes to a minus. So I get minus 1 on the left hand side. Let's tidy up a little bit on the left. 14 take 1 is the same as 13, and that's equal to 6x. But I don't want to know what 6x is. I want to know what x is. So to go from 6x to get x, I share by 6. So to keep it balanced, I share the other side by 6. So I take the 13, and I share that by 6. 13 shared by 6 is an awkward decimal, so I'm going to leave the answer as that fraction, 13 sixth. That doesn't cancel, so there's the answer, 13 sixth equals x.